This video is sponsored in its entirety by Ecovacs. Throw out everything you think you know about robot vacuums because this one is squared. <laughs> I tease, but with a few exceptions, robot vacuums are and have always been rounded. And there's a few practical reasons as to why. Since a rounded body is the same shape, no matter its position, it's less likely to get stuck somewhere because if it can get in, well, then it can get out. Such a rounded bot can also simply rotate itself as it navigates around objects and obstacles rather than reversing and repositioning. So then why on earth is Ecovacs making their new flagship robot, the X2 Omni, squared? Just to be different? <laughs> Well, that's likely part of it, yes, but there are advantages that come with this design that I've discovered in the last few weeks that may suggest being a square is kind of cool. A big benefit to the courtyard shape is a larger total surface area. Now, while this makes the bot look quite a bit bigger than its predecessors, because it literally is, it actually shrinks in the two most important dimensions. First, while the squared bot is longer, it is narrower, which permits passage through tighter areas that orbicular bots could never manage. And second, it's slimmer because the dual laser LiDAR has moved from the top of the device to embedded within the edge of the squared bot, which entitles the X2 Omni the ability to go underneath short furniture that other vacuums just previously were unable to. But if you ask me, the single biggest improvement that comes from this form factor change is the massively wide brush roller that's placed super far in front of the wheels. You see, edge cleaning has never been great on circular robot vacuums because the spinning side brush was just always too far away from the beater bar, resulting in more than half of the debris just being vaulted across the room by that front brush, hopefully to be picked up on a subsequent pass. Now, the X2 Omni's market-leading 8,000 Pascal motor has suction and airflow that pulls in heavier debris. Yes, but while Ecovacs is pitching this as the sole selling point, it's not. It's a better picker-upper because that debris is more accessible thanks to the roller's position relative to that side brush. And then as for corner cleaning? Well, that's just a first here because it can actually get into the corner given that it's squared and the brush roller isn't so darn far away from the edge of the vacuum. Go figure. Not all improvements on this vacuum over last year's are purely as a result of its shape, however. A rug sensor at the front of the vacuum identifies when it's time to lift up the rear pads, and they now raise to 15 millimeters, the highest of any bot on the market. And while they still barely make contact with my ultra high pile carpet, they don't make enough contact to transfer any meaningful amount of moisture, which is nice. The base station has been nicely redesigned as well, becoming nearly 20% more compact than last year's X1 Omni, but maintaining the auto dust emptying function and inheriting all of the features added with the T20 Omni earlier this year. So you get 130 degree Fahrenheit, hot water washing and drying to help remove oils from the mops themselves and of, of course to prevent bacterial growth and stank in the tub, which is very much a thing on robots that don't have this. So you won't need to address the tub that often, but on the rare occasion you do want to clean it manually, you can remove the entire insert really easily, which is fantastic, or you can just clean it there by having the basin fill with water, scrubbing away with the included brush, and then subsequently draining the slurry into the waste tank. Really nice. Unfortunately, there is still no support for an in-station cleaning solution concentrate like some competitors, but it isn't too hard to just add it when you're filling up the fresh water tank since it makes a very efficient use of water and can go a couple of weeks in between fills, frankly. Overall, maintenance on this thing is extremely minimal. The TrueDetect 3D 2.0 laser system in conjunction with the AIVI 3D 2.0 RGBD camera system, <laughs> basically lasers and cameras, avoid even the smallest of objects exceptionally well, better than any other bot I've seen on the market. No accidental cord tangles, no threshold high centering, or accidental pet doo-doo smearing here. Of course, that RGBD camera allows you to monitor a video feed of the bot's progress from inside your home and also serves as a two-way intercom and security portal if you wish, but I almost find myself never using the app because of the new bizarrely named and perhaps incorrectly translated AI intelligent hosting mode. Using the bot's full sensor suite, this new AI mode can identify room types and floor materials and historical cleaning data. It updates that all in the app and then proactively and dynamically changes the cleaning behaviors suitable to each room. 
I was really skeptical of this, but it works shockingly well. It mops wetter and twice over in my kitchen, but does a very quick pass in here, the living room that has comparably small traffic. Additionally, while I thought the Yiko voice assistant was pretty gimmicky when introduced a couple of years ago, it's now been upgraded to 2.0 and is shockingly handy. You can now schedule tasks by voice. So right before going to bed, you can say, clean up this room tomorrow morning, and it will wait until the morning to perform that task. You can tell it to clean a specific room with specific instructions, like clean the kitchen with higher water volume or clean the dining room again. And you can even give it specific locational tasks like turn right, move three feet and clean there. This in conjunction with customized scenarios where I can create and then voice trigger a post meal cleanup where it vacuums underneath the dining room table and then heavily scrubs the kitchen with wet pads and then lightly mops the pantry following parameters that I specify to a T it makes this genuinely a robot vacuum that can work almost free of an app, which nearly makes up for how lackluster the app is to begin with. The Ecovacs X2 Omni, from a hardware standpoint, is really, really good. Perhaps one of the best picker-upper robot vacuums that I've used yet. And it is available for order starting today. Those that order now can get a discount with my link in the video description. But thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay snazzy.